Hey Lions and Cross Watchers, welcome to the weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, April 8th to the 15th. I know you guys have been, well, most of you have been patient, which I really appreciate. Um, I know I got some crazy curls going on today. Um, but Leos, thank you for being patient for with my situation, as you guys know, what's been going on in my life. Um, and I'm really excited to get into this reading because I feel like your energy is so playful. <laughs> it's really playful right now. It feels really good. Um, I actually... Uh, for those who are new who don't understand what I'm about to talk about, I always do a meditative session and then I get into the pre-shuffle cards and I always leave them out. Sorry, this curl's making me crazy. And I, <laughs> and I always leave the pre-shuffle cards out and go over them with you and then I get into the reading. So guys, like I said, I was tapping in your energy. It feels really playful. It feels really fun right now. And that's always like the really positive side of Leo's that I love. You know, you guys know how to have a good time. You guys always can be very lighthearted when you're in a positive headspace. Um, and I also feel like you're going through a little bit of self-exploration or you're discovering parts of yourself that you didn't really know were there, which is also really fun because they were showing me all different kinds of cats, like within the cat family, like they were showing me tigers, panthers, like not just like lions. So like, okay, you're discovering the other sides of you and it's like, and you're having fun with it. However, however, I was sensing a little bit of restriction a little bit of restriction. And I don't think you're restricting yourself. I actually think it's something in your environment or a person that you're connected to, or it could be multiple people. It could even just be family or it could be your work. There's there's something impeding you from going full throttle with it. Wow. Oh, Lord, my hair's a nest. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, but either way, Leo, you guys are really having fun regardless, but you are being limited to some extent, okay? Like I said, by a person, person's situation, work, what have you, there's a, some kind of sense of restriction there um, or a feeling of like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know what that's about, I can't. Um, yeah, you're feeling held back a little bit in some regard. And Leo, it's interesting. All of a sudden, I'm like really aware of your heart chakras. Um, whatever Leo energy I'm tapped into, it's as as lighthearted as you're it's it's almost paradoxical as lighthearted as you are right now and it's almost like you're trying to hold on to that optimism as well which is pushing you forward towards that fun and play in your self-exploration your heart's kind of heavy your heart's kind of heavy leo and i think it's got to do with whatever that restriction is okay so let's get into the pre-shuffle cards we have the world which is fixed energy leo could also be aquarius uh taurus scorpio brand newbie oh my god this is exactly this is exactly that playful energy that i was getting i never look at the world as playful but i'm so drawn to like his expression i don't know if you can see it just like ah. <laughs> like that's the energy you guys are really trying to hold on to and working towards and again there's that sense of self-exploration there too which is really fabulous but this is a like a big life change this is a big new cycle you're coming into and and to come into this you got to close out a major cycle okay the world is about long-term significance and also permanent endings to chapters of your life okay now interestingly enough then we got this going on look at that the devil capricorn energy and the empress libra energy taurus energy venus right it's also divine feminine energy whoever resonates with that this is the limitation whatever this limitation is leo you're looking at it it's almost like it's blocking you like this is exactly how it's laying on my board this is what you're striving for, and you're trying so hard to hold on to that play, that fun, that self-exploration, manifestation as well. A lot of you, I think, are coming into, um, you're trying to make some abundance happen in your life, or at least just happiness, happiness, just, just a sense of happiness and security for yourself. But you are the empress, which is amazing, okay? So you're very fertile right now. Um, as far as making your manifestations come to fruition. And you're staring down this limitation. It's in your way. It's literally in your way. And Leo's, like I said, I was getting that energy of like, I can't, I can't. Because Leo's, you you don't let anything get in your way. <laughs> you usually don't. So that tells me that there's something here that you feel tied to or something that you feel like you can't overcome for whatever reason or another. Now we have these, actually, I'm gonna hold these up together. Now we have these three cards. King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. You guys know the signs for the elements, so I won't reiterate them over and over and over again. <laughs> then we have Five of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is what is like behind you. This is what you you're behind this is what's behind you, but I do get a sense that you're still holding on to this. And I think this is also why you got a little bit of a heavy heart. It seems like there's been some fighting, some tension, maybe some rivalry. Oh, that's interesting. I just heard rivalry for attention. Rivalry for attention. Leos, you know I love you. Um, 
but you know, every sign has its pros and cons, just like it's just energy, right? So there's, there's pros and cons to everything, guys. And with Leo energy, the con is that when they're, when Leos are in a negative headspace or a negative heart space, there is that need for attention. There's that pride, you know, that, that lion pride. Um, I think, I think you've been feeling a little neglected in whatever uh, romantic situation you're in or familial. I don't know why I'm getting familial. Uh, maybe you have a family tie to this person or persons, but it's left you like just, just feeling a little neglected and kind of closing your heart off to them a little bit. A little bit, just like, uh, and I gotta be honest, I feel a little bit of spite. <laughs> I feel a little bit of spite, okay? Ace of Swords in Reverse, I feel like this hasn't been discussed. Well, I'm picking up on something really heavy, you guys. Um, whatever this is, it hasn't been talked about. It hasn't been talked about. So there's no clarity in the situation, but I do get like a, a needing of attention, a fighting for attention, like, you know, like you're competing with someone else or even like maybe, maybe, you know, you're... Uh, your lover works a lot and you feel like they don't give you attention or maybe they hang out a lot with like the boys or the girls and they don't give you that attention you feel you're feeling neglected you're feeling neglected and you're ready for fun and you're ready for play but then there's that limitation that's standing in your way okay all right so very interesting leos i know we got some so specific there didn't we um so let's get into the reading uh for my oldies and newbies hello um happy sunday by the way sunday fun day uh, so it goes without saying, guys, this is a general love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need them. Uh, sometimes that'll be you and sometimes that won't be you, you know? Uh, just, so just know that. And also know that I get multiple messages from different groups of people. So even if the reading resonates with you, some details might not. Okay, so please only hold on to what resonates. And if you hear a detail that doesn't resonate, it's probably for someone else, okay? Um... Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And just know that the roles can be reversed because um, it's energy. It's fluid, right? Energy is not linear <laughs> by any means. Um, so if the, if you have to reverse the roles for it to resonate, then that's that's totally okay. That's totally fine. And even though this is a love reading, it can apply to work, family, friends, social circle um, because of the spectrum of love emotions. Okay. Leos, let's get into this. Any messages for Leo? regarding love april 8th to the 15th any messages for leo regarding love april 8th to the 15th any messages for leo regarding love april 8th to the 15th any messages for leo regarding love april 8th to the 15th I love it when we start out with your own energy. King of Wands, that's the Leo court card. Could also be fire or air, okay? Um, stirring, stirring. There's, Leo, there's something stirring in you. It feels good, though. It feels, it just feels like pure passion, to be honest with you. It feels like pure passion. I think that's also where your fun is coming from. That, that motivation, that passion for life and for fun and good times and joy. Uh, it feels good. It feels really good. I think you're about to take action on something. Any messages for Leo regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. Any messages for Leo? Oh, all of a sudden I got really hot. <laughs> Shit, Leo. I know you're stirring up, but don't don't give me a hot flash over here. Any messages for Leo? Let me see what we got here. Oh, Leo. Yeah, so you feel neglected. Four of Cups in reverse. This is my rejection card. You feel neglected. And you're really tired of it. Oh, Jesus. Now we got King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the Nine of Wands in reverse. So, God, feeling rejected. And like I said, it's like you've kind of closed off your heart to someone a little bit. But with Nine of Wands in reverse, it's like you're just fucking tired. You're tired. You're tired of feeling neglected. I mean, look at these three cards here. You're so tired of feeling neglected. It's like you're, you're don't even like want to fight for it anymore is kind of what I'm getting. Hold on. I am so hot. I got I got to put on the fan. Let's see if it's too much cuz I might blow the cards away. I always keep it on like maximum. Oh my god, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, okay. Leo, god, making me hot already. Let's see what else we can get here. Yeah, you're just you're fucking tired. You're tired of being being neglected and you're ready to take action. Any messages for Leo regarding love? 
April 8th to the 15th. I think you're also dealing with someone who might be a little... It's not even that they're cold. It's just... Their version of love is probably not your version of love. That's probably the best way to say that. They're not war they're not warm and romantic. That's what that's what it is. It's like I think whoever it is that you're connecting with, they're just not they're just not romantic and fuzzy, you know? Any messages for Leo regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're releasing from this. You're tired of feeling this way. You're really tired of feeling this way. Any messages for Leo regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. See what else we get for you guys, and then we'll get into the cards a little more. Any messages for Leo regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. Damn. Any messages for Leo regarding love? April 8th to the 15th. Yeah, this hasn't been addressed. This has not been addressed yet. Now we have Ace of Swords in reverse. So again, this, this is a say, look at these. These are the two cards that came out in the pre-shuffle, right? Again, it hasn't been discussed. There hasn't been that clarity provided or given. I really feel like there hasn't been a discussion about this. And Leo's, you've been sitting on it. You've been sitting on it. And it, it, again, it's because you feel like you haven't been able to do anything about it directly. But now, like I said, you're stirring. I think you're ready to take action against it. Overall energy, we have the Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. You're ready. <laughs> like I said, you're stirring, man. You're stirring up that passion to, to go for what it is that makes you really happy. And you're ready to take action fast this is a very fast night really ready to take action leo so let's get into this uh let's clarify the king of wands because I, I feel a crazy energy coming off of that for you okay it is a little too strong <laughs> hold on a second Hi. okay that's a little better i love that it's strong i feel like i don't have to use my ac but you know as you can see it gets a little wind blown in here Okay, let's look at this King of Wands. So I have this King of Wands for Leo. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Any messages for Leo regarding the King of Wands? April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the King of Wands. For Leo, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the King of Wands. Wow, that was very quick. The Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. And Five of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. A lot of Aquarian energy right here. Five of Swords in reverse. Like, you feel a little defeated by this. You feel a little defeated and you're just ready to put it behind you and just start a new reset. You know, resetting a situation, resetting what you want for your happiness. This is a very happy full energy that I'm getting for you guys. And I'm getting more of that play. You're like, I'm not going to allow myself to feel bogged down by this anymore. I'm not going to allow myself to feel defeated by this shit anymore. I'm just ready to go have some fun. That's what you're saying, Leo. I'm ready for some fun. <laughs> and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Tell me about this King of Wands. Oh my. So now we have, if I can pick all these three cards up. Mm. All right. We have the sun, which is your major arcana card, Leo. Now we have the knight of wands again. Double confirmation. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Two of cups in reverse, soulmate energy, but it's in reverse. The, yeah, you're definitely not feeling the connection. <laughs> you definitely have closed off your heart chakra a little bit to this person. Um, and, and you're ready for the conversation. You're ready for the conversation because you're chasing your happy. You're chasing your happy and you're chasing your freedom. Tell me about the King of Wands. Ooh. King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. A lot of Aquarian energy. Um, could also be Gemini or Libra. And then the Nine of Pentacles, my pre-Empress card. And you came across as the Empress in the pre-shuffle. So, Leo, you know, I hate to say it, but you're dealing with someone who's a little... Um, they're about them. They're about them, okay? Um, and they and I think they, they're very aware that you're kind of craving that attention and that you're kind of pulling away a little bit. You're, ch you're chasing your happy. And I don't think they're very happy about it, which I think is also why it hasn't been addressed. They haven't wanted to have this conversation because they're actually looking at you like you're, you're already kind of single. They're looking at you in a very single bachelor, bachelorette energy while they're taking on a king of swords in reverse energy, which is... <sighs> 
I hate to say it, but it's my narc card, my narcissist card. It's also very egotistical energy. It's manipulative energy. It's selfish energy from a very minor, minor, minor energy of like, they're just selfish or they're just kind of thinking about themselves all the way up to full-blown narcissistic manipulator. But they're also not talking. They're not talking a whole lot. They're not sharing a whole lot about this situation, especially with how they've been seeing you lately. Okay. Let's see what else we get here for the King of Wands. Play the King of Wands in reverse. I mean, King. Wow, that was weird. Why did I say reverse? Oh, Leo. I'm feeling a fight coming on. Careful, because I think this is going to turn into a major argument for, for some of you when you confront this person. Tell me about King of Wands for Leo regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about King of Wands for Leo. Okay, overall energy. The hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah, you've been sitting on this. You've definitely been sitting on this. This is my spiritual pause card. This is the universe hanging you up so you can figure out um, what you need for yourself and be introspective about your own healing and your own spiritual journey. I love this card, though, even though it is a stagnant energy, because when you come out of it, you get some spiritual revelation, some breakthroughs about yourself. Okay, it's always a great, a great stagnant card to have. Underneath that, look. Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family, um, happy marriage if you're married. Um, this is what you've been sitting on. Uh, this is all you want. Look, I just want happiness. I just want happy home. I want a happy family. Even if for my single Leos out there, it's like this is what you this is what you want. Whatever family is to you. Okay, family doesn't always mean in the traditional sense, right? But damn, Leo, I mean, they see you pulling away. They see it. They already see you as someone who acts single, whether you are or not, okay? Now, moving ahead, Four of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Cups in reverse and King of Cups in reverse. This is that feeling rejected. You're over it. You haven't you haven't opened your heart back up. You're just like, I'm fucking over it. I'm fucking done. Over it, over it, over it. So let's look at the Four of Cups in reverse of this feelings of rejection. Tell me about Four of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love. April 8th to the 15th. I think some of you have been putting on a happy face in the midst of all of this, for the most part. Tell me about Four of Cups in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Four of Cups in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. I'm also I'm also picking up on another group of Leos here um, where you actually have someone coming towards you. Uh, I'm going to get into that in a second. Let me get into this Four of Cups. Tell me about Four of Cups in reverse for Leo. Regarding love. Okay. Tell me about this Four of Cups in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about this rejection, feeling of neglect. Play about Four of Cups in reverse for Leo. Nine of Swords in reverse. Uh, so Nine of Swords, as we know, it's the self-imposed worry card, but you're not worrying anymore. <laughs> you're not allowing yourself to worry anymore. Uh, yeah. You're like, you're like, I'm over it. I just need to go get my happy if this person's not going to give it to me. Wow. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be uh, fire or air. This is drama. Drama, fighting, hostility, aggression. <sighs> Careful, guys. Like I said, I, did, I do feel a little bit of a fight coming for some of you. Tell me about Four of Cups in reverse for Leo. Tell me about Four of Cups in reverse for Leo regarding love April 8th to the 15th tell me about four of cups in reverse for Leo regarding love April 8th to the 15th oh oh my oh oh death in reverse scorpionic energy someone's resisting someone's resisting um and that's where the fight's coming in so Leo you've decided you're done you decided you're done worrying about it you're gonna just go ahead and try to fight for your happy turns into a fight because someone doesn't want this to end. 
This is resistance, resisting the end here. Overall energy for the Four of Cups in reverse. We have Three of Pentacles in reverse, lack of collaboration. No longer working together, no longer collaborating together, no longer making plans. You're done. You're done, Leo. You're so done. Um, and like I said, for some of you, there's a group of Leos out here where I actually see someone coming your way, especially in this Knight of Wands energy, coming in fast, coming in very in and, but it's very like, what's the word I'm looking for? I would just be cautious because it's very, it just, it doesn't feel contained. It feels like very erratic energy, frenetic, frenetic. It feels very frenetic energy where someone really wants to come towards you because they want your forgiveness for something. They want your forgiveness for something to start over with you. And they're chasing you down in this Knight of Wands energy, literally chasing you down, Leo. And it's definitely something that didn't go right. It's definitely something that went awry, okay? But they think that there's happiness to be found with you. But look, they're very egotistical. They're very egotistical, even as they still look at you and still want you. So I don't know if that's something you want, Leo. And this is someone that I think definitely rejected you in the past, but now they, they think they can have happiness with you. They think they can have a family with you because they're paused, right, in that Ten of Cups energy. But yeah, this didn't go right before. I feel like this person might have rejected you or you rejected them. Someone rejected somebody. That's for damn sure. And it just was, it just was, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I see a lot of fighting. Oh, we got quite a few eye rollers here. <laughs> I was like, I just saw someone give someone some serious shade without saying shit. It was all in the eyes. <laughs> wow. Okay, Leos. Anyway, moving ahead. Moving ahead. Let's go to this release. The sense of release out of stagnation. So I'm at the Eight of Swords in reverse. For Leo. Regarding love. April 8th to the 15th. So I have an Eight of Swords in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. How are we doing on time? Oh, 22 minutes. Oh, we're good. We're doing real good. So I have an Eight of Swords in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. So I have an Eight of Swords in reverse for Leo. Ooh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. This is family. This is family, this is legacy, long-term wealth, long-term security, maximum amount of abundance you could possibly get. It's also blessings. So it could be formed in the form of money, in the form of like literal shelter, right? It's the tangible. Pentacles are the tangible. But this is amazing shit. It's like you're releasing yourself. Some of you might, some of you might have a family with this person. I don't see pages. So I don't see children. Um, but Ten of Pentacles is always family for me. And there's a sense of release about it, okay? Um, so just be mindful of that. Some of you might be actually considering that. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Ultimate love, ultimate happiness, ultimate security for the family, contentment in family and home. It doesn't get any better than this pair, guys. It really doesn't. It really doesn't, but there's a sense of release. There's a sense of release around this. damn sorry something just got really heavy someone i think is giving up on on a dream that they that they have with somebody this is really heavy guys that took a really heavy turn um whether it's you or someone you're connecting with i just i just get this sense of like it's not it's not working damn yeah it's not working ace of pentacles in reverse and six of wands in reverse this is this is total failure and a missed opportunity Total failure and a missed opportunity. Yeah, someone's giving up on a dream. Oh, this is, oh, Leo's shit. Really? You're the first read of the day. This is really heavy to start the day with. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse for Leo's. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about Eight of Swords in reverse for Leo. Regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Now let's see what we got here. We have three more cards come out. <sighs> yeah, Leo, you're you're not you're not having this. Empress energy, which is your energy in this. Uh Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. We have that in the pre-shuffle. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the page of pentacles in reverse. There's a whole lot of imbalance here, a lack of give and take, 
a lack of give and take in energy and you know it, but you're standing strong, standing really strong. You're standing really confident. You know what you want, Leo, and you usually do. <laughs> Leos usually know what they want and they usually are very vocal about it. But page of pentacles in reverse, I just, I just, mm, someone's not giving, someone's not giving. And I don't think it's you. I think you've been sitting there waiting for someone to to make the situation balance, to start giving more, to start giving in the same amount that you've been giving. You've been dealing with a little bit of a taker, a little bit of a taker. Overall energy for the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you feel like you made a mistake. You feel like you made a mistake with this person, whether it's um, someone coming your way that you had a, a history with, or it's someone that you're with and you're trying to release yourself from. You feel like you made a mistake on your life path. This is my life path card. And there's some mistakes made here. Damn, and look, Ace of Swords, truth. Truth and clarity, it's the sword of truth. Leos, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Speaking of sword of truth, let's look at it here in reverse. This is that lack of clarity. And then we'll move on to the Oracle cards. Tell me about Ace of Swords in reverse. But Leo, either way, no matter what situation you're dealing with, if you're resonating with any of these energies, you're you're going to be happy because you you know what you want and you're already harnessing that play and a little bit more of that self-exploration. So I think you maybe just learned some lessons here in this situation and it's helped you learn a lot more about yourself. So I have about Ace of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. And remember guys, this is just energy. <coughs> Excuse me. So even though we're... um. We're trying to do it by timeline. People work through energy differently than other people, okay? So some people are haven't even touched this energy yet. Some of you might even be halfway through this already. Um, and that new moon in Aries that was on the 5th is really helping people take the initiation towards what they, they really need for themselves and what makes them really happy. And I see that you're doing that, Leo. You're definitely doing that. I mean, look, Aries. You're told, and it's like it's the first card it's the first major arcana card it's definitely all about that new moon aries energy um so you're doing it leo you're doing it tell me about ace of swords in reverse five of cups in reverse is the first card out trying to regain hope trying to yeah trying to find hope in the in the mass confusion you know it's like trying to like see that lighthouse in the fog tell me about ace of swords in reverse for leo regarding love april 8th to the 15th tell me about ace of swords in reverse for leo regarding love april 8th to the 15th Let's see what we got here wow Eight of Wands in reverse with Seven of Swords and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, so there's this has been this is what has been impeding you. This is what's been impeding you. You've been dealing with someone who's who's very deceptive. The devil is not inherently negative. It's not. I actually really like the devil card because it does come in so many flavors and because it's so indicative of that perfect balance of light and dark. But when it's not harnessed properly, it can it can go awry quite easily because it's that it's meant to be that balanced energy, which is a very strong, powerful energy to, to harness. But Seven of Swords, there's been some deception here. There's been some deception. And again, I think it's just from not talking. I really think it's just from not talking or hashing out this problem. But it's led to um, a delay in your own progress, okay, with the Eight of Wands in reverse. And actually, I'm really curious what the Seven of Swords is about. So I'm going to use the Kipper deck. But um, you're, you're trying to stay hopeful. You're trying to stay hopeful, even though you've been dealing with with this energy even though you've been dealing with this energy not very good not good guys over energy for the ace of swords the tower scorpionic oh shit scorpionic energy and look justice in reverse libra energy you could be doing the libra scorp cusper you could have a strong libra scorp placement in your chart but yeah the tower's coming down guys the tower's coming down and it's because this hasn't been discussed it's time to discuss it and you can't avoid tower moments we all know that they're inevitable they're inevitable. You can't you can't avoid them. So let's look at that seven of swords and see what that deception fogginess is about. OK, so as you guys know, it is a newer deck and I'm in love with this deck. So in case you guys want it, I am going to put a link down eventually. I just you guys know I got a lot of things going on and I'm trying to make today the last day I deal with my whole place. I thought I was going to be able to do that a couple days ago. And I was like, damn it, my vacuum takes up so much space. I forgot. Anyway. 
the Kipper fortune telling deck. So it's not a tarot deck, but it really helps hone in on some details, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Swords attached to the Devil for Leo. Tell me about the Seven of Swords attached to the Devil for Leo regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the Seven of Swords attached to the Devil for Leo regarding love, April 8th to the 15th. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's this sneaky deception about? Tell me about Seven of Swords for Leo. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Leo. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. I'll try that again. Tell me about Seven of Swords for Leo. What's this deception? What's this deception? I just heard betrayal. Ooh. Oh, we got a card. I can't see it yet. It's face down. Oh my, why, oh my God, all of a sudden I feel like anxious. Am I feeling your anxiety, guys? It's okay, calm down, calm down, it's okay. Wow, bad health. So I'm actually not surprised this one came out with the number 31, bring it down to a four. Foundations, the foundation here is not well. The foundation here wasn't laid down properly is what I'm getting, Leo, which is why the tower is coming in. The tower comes down to break down faulty foundations so that new ones, stronger ones, can build. This foundation that you have with this person or situation or persons was not built properly and it's coming down, okay? And on the bottom of the deck, we have poverty. With the number 37, so it's a cyclical energy, right? So closing out bullshit. <laughs> Closing out bullshit so you can start some new shit because this situation has left you feeling really piss poor, whether in regards to actual money or just quality time. And for you, I do feel like it's quality time. I feel like you've been starving in this connection or relationship, Leo. I think you have been starving quite a bit. Okay, so let's get into the Oracle cards. I'm actually going to pull advice. I'm not going to do romance angels, but I am going to pull advice for you guys because this is heavy shit. This is heavy shit. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? And remember, guys, this is for my Leos who this is either the situation you were in and now this person's trying to come back to start some new shit with you. They haven't changed their ways, just letting you know. Um, and for others, this could be for Leos who are in a relationship or a marriage of some kind or in a you know heavy family situation and you're trying to break out of it because you're starved for attention and love any advice for my leos regarding this spread 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 Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? I love these cards, man. <laughs> the spread animal deck, it's just the artwork is so great. Sorry, guys, I need a little water. Mm. Mm. The artwork is incredible, and they're just fun, you know. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos? regarding this spread oh very nice any advice for my leos regarding this spread wow so this is really interesting leo so you have one card that came out on the board for you it's turtle spirit slow and steady when oh geez come on why is not focusing there we go slow and steady wins the race with the number 62 bringing down to an eight i'm glad it's a vibration of eight that's my ceo of ceo vibration it's prosperity, it's success, ultimate happiness from hard, hard work, and a lot of abundance. But this is basically saying, take your time and be patient. I'm also hearing tactic, like tactics, tactics. Be tactical. Tactical? Is that even a word? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a math person. Um, so I'm like, tactic? I don't know if that's proper English. Anyway. Be tac tactical. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Be slow. 
in this. Take your time. Don't be impulsive. And I feel like, Leos, you kind of want to. You kind of want to be impulsive. You want to be the fool. So what, what Spirit's basically saying is take your time with this. If you're being presented uh, with an offer by a Knight of Wands or whether um, you're trying to leave the situation because you're feeling so starved, um, take your time in thinking about how you want to go about this, okay? Because I feel like there could be some missteps if you rush this process. And then overall advice, ah, Lizard Spirit with a number 38 bringing out to an 11, so a master number dream the world into being this is manifestation make your manifestations happen for yourself and leo's like i said you're the empress that came out in your pre-shuffle too you are in great fertile manifestation energy okay you you want happiness you just got to take your time and figure out the best way to get that for yourself no matter what situation you're in and your manifestation is going to come to fruition so um, i'm also getting who, whoever who's who i'm connecting with who really does a lot of manifestation there's a few of you who, um, God, how do I say this? You're frustrated about manifesting. I think you've put in a lot of time and it's kind of like, where's my manifestation? God damn it. <laughs> Why isn't it coming to fruition? Um, it's, it's about what you're asking for. So guys, when it comes to manifestations, if it's not in our best interest, spirit isn't going to make it happen. Okay, so just be very careful on how you word things. I might do a video on wording for manifestations. I'm always very caref careful with how I word my intentions because words are very powerful. And if you don't use the right ones, you might not get what you actually want. Okay, like let's say, for example, I'm trying to think of a good, a good example. I'm so careful. I'm like, I can't think of a bad example. Um, okay, like let's say you've always wanted to own a own a ranch okay let's i know it's a kind of an odd example let's say you've always wanted to own a ranch um so part of your manifestation like you know when maybe you're putting it out there maybe you're being a little too specific maybe you're like i want a ranch in montana with 10 horses and what else is on a ranch i don't even know i've never, I've never been on a ranch um <laughs> Uh, 10 horses and 20 pigs and etc 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 making like a huge laundry list if it's not in your best interest spirit isn't going to make it happen so you don't want to be too specific and you want to make sure that you're wording it so that it's in your best interest okay so whoever's been frustrated with their manifestations and i and to also counteract that i always end my manifestations with only if it is meant to be shall it be Okay, that's very, very important because, like I said, if it's not meant to be with for you, it, spirit's not going to give it to you. Okay, and don't be so specific in your manifestations. Focus on the actual cores of what's really going to make you happy and what you actually want. And when it comes to manifestations with love, guys, try so hard to not put specific people in your manifestations. You can visualize them if you want. There's, I don't see any problem with visualizing the person in question that you're you're pining for. Um, but don't like put in the names. Like don't get that specific, okay? Because then you're starting to send energy their way. It's connected to your manifestations, and that can fuck up some some shit, okay? So don't get too specific there. Um, and for those who are pining after someone who are and you're trying to manifest them back or manifest them into your life, um, honestly, again, if it's not meant to be, it's not going to happen. Okay, so if you're looking for a partner, the best way to phrase it is, um, I have the love of a soulmate or someone I am meant to be with, okay? Someone I am meant to be with. That's what you wanna manifest, someone who's, who really is meant for you, okay? Even if it is just to have a soulmate there to teach you lessons or if it's that life partner, you can't be too specific when it comes to manifestations, guys, because it's not always in your best interest. And sometimes we think we know what's best for us. And the reality is sometimes we really don't, right? But Leo's, like I said, anyway, bringing it back. So there's a little manifestation lesson. Um, so Leo's, do your manifesting, be careful in how you're wording things. And don't get too frustrated and always make sure it's it's worded as it's worded in the way of your best interests and what's meant for you and take your time with the situation, okay? Because like I said, there could be some missteps there. But if you take your time and you're um, methodical about how you go about this, you're going to get your manifestation of happiness. Okay, Leos? I hope that was helpful and informative. Um, don't forget to check out Patreon and the Facebook page. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Have a great week and a great night. Namaste.